Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so happy that you stopped by to visit. A few weeks ago, I watched a video by Tati and she was doing a try-on haul and I thought, what a great idea. Instead of just sitting here and showing you products, I would take a few of the products that I have purchased and do a try-on haul and that's what she called it. I'll leave the link to her video down below. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I purchased quite a few products at Ulta and at Sephora and I just grabbed a few just so I could show you some of the products that I have purchased. I haven't received everything from the 21 Days of Beauty yet. I still have a few boxes that are to be delivered, but I do have enough except for eyeshadow. But I, the one that I'm going to use is the Persona, um, and I know it's got another name, the Identity Palette. I'm going to use this one because I haven't used it in a video, So, and this is fairly new. I've used it a couple of times. I wanted to share with you why I love that palette as much as I do. The only thing I have in my face, on my face, not in my face, the only thing I have on my face is my moisturizer and my skincare, and I also added some Marc Jacobs primer, the coconut primer. And that is all. So one of the products that I purchased, I have never tried this, is the Brow Quickie by Too Faced. And that's what that looks like. Yep, that's what it looks like. I have to put on my glasses so I can tell you a bit about it because Marlene cannot see. It says, need a Brow Quickie? Our exclusive waterproof brush on fiber gel mimics real hair to shape and plump up brows in seconds. The buildable formula fills in missing gaps while adhering to both skin and hair for full, lush, and natural brows. And I'm going to show you the picture that's behind it. That's behind the back of the box. So, uh, there you go. See the, I think the top picture is the one with the full brow and the bottom picture is the one with half a brow. Yes, I know. My, I know what many of you are probably thinking. Why are you using that? You don't need it. Well, you know what? I do have a little bit of areas that are missing hair because that's what happens. And, oh, I think this is too light. But anyway, and I do have grace. Oh, talk about upsetting. Anyway. All right easy well it's really simple to use and it looks like it's really filling in yeah okay great nice and easy wonderful what do you think all right, you know that I look down because I'm looking at my mirror, not because I'm trying to ignore you. All right, you know what? I didn't purchase a brand new concealer. I don't know why. I have been meaning to get the, which one was it? The one from Too Faced, from Born This Way. I've been meaning to get that one and I haven't purchased it. I'll tell you what I did purchase. I purchased another, uh, what are these called? Painterlies by MAC. It's been two years since I've had this. The one that I had dried out, and so this is going to be my concealer today because it's new, and that's what this video is about. So I am going to add some of this on my lid, and you know, someone asked me recently if there was something that, a product that I recommended for the veins in the eyes or, um, the darkness, a, a primer that would work like that, and I suggested, and that's why I purchased it again, I remembered how much I had liked this when the girl at the MAC used this on me. I don't know why I stopped talking when I'm doing this. It's like, Marlene, can't you walk and chew gum at the same time? All right, so yes, this is a great product if you need to even out your lid area and it also works nicely as a concealer. 
I purchased mine in, in Painterly, and this is the Pro Longwear Paint Pot. That's what it is. The Pro Longwear Paint Pot, and mine is in Painterly. They have an array of shades for this product, and it lasts forever. Yeah, it does a really nice job concealing, and it doesn't look as if it's settling in any lines or wrinkles. Oh yeah, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyes first, and what I'll do is I'll insert a picture of the palette. The first shade I am going to use is Humble. I, I'm, let me just tell you this in case you didn't see the video where I talked about it. There are uh, 12 shades in the palette. There are six that are matte and there are six that are shimmery. The first few times that I have used this palette, it worked out beautifully. It blends beautifully. I think it is a great palette for travel. I think it is a nice neutral palette while still having those little, uh, you know, while still having shades that will give you a pop of color, like the, what is it, Cheek, which is a purple shade, and um, Audacious, which is a, a, a sort of a terracotta shade. So, all right, so let me stop yabbing and let me just get on with this. I just want you to see how beautiful they blend. If you're in need of a palette that has these uh, shades and is affordable, this is really a nice palette to have. It, I believe it was about $30, I think. I'm not sure, but as always, I will leave the link down below. For my transition shade, I'm going to use Char Charming. Charming. My second grade teacher would be cringing if she heard me. Charming. She used to sit down with me to teach me how to pronounce. In Spanish, we don't have the CH and the SH or the TH. We don't have a lot of those co combinations in Spanish. And she would sit down with me because I didn't learn how to speak English until I was in first grade. And in second grade, the teacher, Mrs. Alvino, would sit down with me with flashcards and help me learn how to pronounce the CH sound. So I would say sheet instead of something else. And the difference between like yellow, I would say jello instead of yellow, because I didn't know that that pronunciation. Anyway, so why am I telling you this? Oh yeah, because I said charming, charming. That's what I had said, charming, instead of charming. So, thank you, Mrs. Alvino. I'm sure she is in heaven by now, many, many moons ago. And I think she was close to retiring at the time. I still remember her. There was a piece in my heart still for Mrs. Alvino for teaching me the correct pronunciation in English, even though sometimes I do lose it. Okay. For my movable lid, I'm going to use Seductive. It's a pretty, sort of like a champagne color. I'm gonna kind of mix and match here. I purchased these eye pigments, and these are by Melt. This one is an after party, and I'm going to do the outer third of the eye with this. I've never used this before. This is one of my brand new products, but I have heard some ladies really raving about it. Let me give you a swatch. Oh, it's really pink. It, it kind of reminds me of the Stila and ballet slippers. But this one is creamier and it's supposed to really last throughout the day. I'm just applying it with my fingers. I put the swatch on the wrong hand. 
nothing falls out anywhere, which I've heard that is the biggest downfall with the Stila ones. While this one is really nice and creamy and it has a pretty shimmer to it. Oh my goodness, I bought two of these. I'll show you the other one when I do the haul. But this one is really, really, really pretty. I need to blend. I think I'm going to take that same flat brush and just try to blend the milk product with the one from the Identity palette. All right, I'm going now with Chic for the outer V. And there is no fall, fallout whatsoever with this persona. Um, I'm sorry, Persona is the brand with the Identity palette. Really pretty, nice and pigmented. It's marketed for brown eyes, but you know, you wear whatever colors you want. It doesn't matter to I, I don't think. For my brow bone, I'm going to use Gold Digger. No, I'm not. I'm going to use Sassy. I think that's better for the brow bone. And this is a matte shade. This is not one of the shimmers. In case you didn't see the video where I talked about this palette, this palette was created by Sona Gasparian. And I just really like her. I love her tutorials. I love, I just really like the girl. And she was the creator of, her, of this palette and amazing. She did an amazing job with it. All right, I would normally use everything from that palette, but I wanted to show you some of the products that I purchased. And this is the Stila, and it is Moire, and it is green. It is a beautiful, beautiful, I don't know, army green, olive green. I'm terrible describing shades. And I'm just going to use that for my lower lash line. Oh, yeah, I like this one. This is pretty. I don't have any, anyone like this. And I love these Seal Up pencils because you can smudge them if you like, and they just last all day. If you don't want to smudge them, you don't have to. But it really doesn't go anywhere. I think I need some inner corner. I need some inner corner shade. Now I'm going to go in with Seductive. What do you think about my dude today? Yeah, that's coming down real quick. And I need to add a little bit of transition shade just to blend everything together. I'm going to go and back in with Humble. Just to make that transition a little bit smoother so there won't be so many harsh lines. All right, for foundation, I'm using the Giorgio Armani, and this I am going to read it on the package because I'm not going to give you a full review on it, but I did want to tell you a little bit about it. This is the Power Fabric Longwear High Cover Foundation. It has an SPF of 25, and the shade that I purchased is 7.5. Okay, here are the claims. The Power Fabric is a new liquid foundation that teams full coverage with matte, lightweight set, a second skin finish. It combines full coverage with an ultralight formula. Upon application, the texture melts into the skin, effectively blurring imperfection with an incredible lightweight matte veil that feels like, like you're not wearing makeup at all with an SPF of 25 filter. It is available in 20 shades. And the cost of this foundation is $64. All right, you get a nice glass jar and you get a pump with it. The shade looks nice. Yeah, I think I, I, I got the correct shade. And it does say matte, but I thought that if it was too matte, I could always add some oil to it. seems to be covering nicely and you know I have plenty of dark spots I don't know what do you think oh what do you think about the earrings 
They're one of my last purchases from Mary from Glitzy Fritzy. These are the Mel's. These are our Mel's earrings, and I just love them. You know, it's matte, but it's not a thick matte like the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's not like that at all. It's actually really light. It looks, so far it looks pretty. Well, it should look pretty for what it costs, don't you think? All right, so what do you think about the foundation? Let me know what you think. I'll let you know down below. When I start doing the description box down below, I'll let you know how it wears on. Oh, I wanted to show you this. All right, so remember, that's what I had applied originally for that milk pigment. Let's see. It's not going anywhere. It's not going. And I'm really smudging it there. It's still there. Okay, that's a good thing. Okay, I'm going to add some mascara. This one is a new one. It's the Laura Geller Drama Lash Maximum Volumizing Mascara. All right, so far I have not, I have yet to find a mascara that is going to take the place of my Giorgio Armani. I'm just waiting for the, the Sephora, whatever they call their sale. And I'm gonna get some more of that one because I, I really, that's my favorite mascara. If you would have asked me last year, I probably would have said the Makeup Forever. If you would have asked me six months ago, I probably would have said the Stila. But you asked me today, and it, actually that has been my, my favorite mascara since Stephanie sent it to me. And I think it was maybe in November, October, November, I don't remember when she had gotten it and she didn't like it and she sent it to me. You ladies just leave me the funniest comments. Today, someone left me a comment that I was editing a video and I got the notification and all I saw was part of the comment in there and I just cracked up laughing. I had to stop what I was doing and go and read the comment. Oh my gosh, it had me in stitches. It was so incredibly funny. And I'm sure if, if you know who you are, you just made me laugh incredibly. It was so, so funny. And a lot of you do that. You just say the funniest things. All right, it doesn't look bad. It's not clumping, I don't think. But you know, you never know with me because, I, why? Because I can't say. For blush, this is the Urban Decay. These were on sale for platinum members. I think they were $12 on, on this 21 Days of Beauty. I purchased mine and Obsessed. Did I tell you that already? And it's a really light pink. And I thought it would be fine with this. I have another one by Urban Decay. Uh, Rapture. That I got. I don't know if you saw the traveling makeup bag. Remember when we did that? I'll leave a link to that video somewhere. It was. Oh yeah. This is pretty. It's very subtle. It's. At least in person it's subtle. Sometimes it doesn't look as subtle. On the, on, on the camera. I didn't get a new bronzer because I have that Too Faced one that I purchased that I really, really like because it's matte. I bought this at Macy's. It is the MAC Prep and Prime in Lavender. Oh my goodness, this, oh, the scent on this is amazing. And I didn't tell you, these were, these pencils, these Smashbox, they were I think $11 on the 21 Days of Beauty. So, you know, I picked a few of those. I purchased this from Bite Beauty. This is Oyster, Oyster Pearl, I think it's called. And it's some glittery stuff. I have not used this. Holy camoly. It feels really moisturizing. It has a nice scent, but it's a weird shade. And then, besides the moisturizing, it feels like it has little glitter particles in it. I'm not sure if I like this. I'm glad I just got this one and not the four or five that they had. Yeah, this is not working for me. I'm going to use the e.l.f. I always use this e.l.f. lipstick remover. It is the best thing ever. It removes the darkest lipstick in one swipe, and it doesn't... It doesn't dry your lips out. Your li lips stay nice and smooth. Ladies, there is glitter there. There's glitter. Yeah, I don't like this product. It's not coming off. 
Okay, don't like that. That is going, one of the girls will probably like it. Okay, so let me try something else on the lips. All right, let's try this again. I purchased this Giorgio Armani. I've never tried any of these products before, these lip products. I purchased mine in number 507, which is Boudoir. And this is the Lip Maestro, Intense Velvet Color. So let's see how this works. Hopefully better than that Vibe Beauty one. Ladies, you know I love Vibe Beauty, but ju that just didn't cut it. Oh, wow, this is really creamy. Now this is more up my alley. And as usual, I forgot the lip liner. Let's try this again. This one, this lip liner is new. This is by Sila, and this is in Sinfandel. This was also in that $11 deal. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this right there. That'll go. This lip liner, it, um, it's the Stila and it's a stay all day. I'll leave, I'll leave a message down below for you and I'll let you know if it really does stay all day. Really, really creamy. Kind of reminds me of the 24-7 by Urban Decay. But you know what? I think I like this one better because it's um, mechanical and the Urban Decays you have to sharpen. And you know I love the Urban Decay Liar, but this one is really nice. Okay, okay. let's go back uh, with the Giorgio Armani. Oh wow, I like this. This is so creamy. It feels like total moisture on the lips. Hopefully it doesn't dry out and make me look like a dried up prune. What else? You know, I did my hair myself and I was editing a video the other day and I thought, oh, my hair doesn't look as pretty on film as it does in person. In person, there's like all these different shades that I added to it. And yes, I did it myself last time. What do you think? What do you think about the look? What do you think about any of these products? You know the drill. Do you have any of these? Do you hate them? Do you like them? Thank you, ladies. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you for spending some time with me for taking a piece out of your day to come and watch this try on haul. Don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.